sweeping sanctions. When there's unacceptable behavior, we should put consequences in place. The White House announcing it's punishing Russia in response to last year's massive solar wind cyber hack against U.S. federal agencies, as well as other Russian aggressions. Our objective here is not to escalate. Our objective here is to impose um, costs uh, for what we feel are uh, uh, unacceptable actions. Senior Biden administration officials saying the sanctions against Russia are economically impactful, but also proportionate and tailored. At a House Intelligence Committee hearing today, America's spy chiefs telling lawmakers these retaliatory actions against Russia are a necessary response. Something that we wholeheartedly support because that shines a light on their behavior. It imposes costs on what they do. The White House also formally blaming the Kremlin for reported bounties it offered the Taliban against U.S. troops in Afghanistan. It's the first time the U.S. has officially said it believed Russia was behind the bounties. Meanwhile, U.S. intelligence officials predict Russia will likely react. And there'll probably be a certain amount of tit for tat. The U.S. also sanctioning 16 entities and 16 individuals it said tried to interfere in the U.S. 2020 presidential election, as well as expelling 10 Russian diplomats from the country. Taken all together, these are some of the most severe actions taken against Russia in years. Andrew Dimber, ABC News, Washington.